Hey everybody, I'm Clint from The Points Guy and we're here at the beautiful Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. I brought my brother, I brought my two nieces and nephew. We're gonna have a family adventure here. We're gonna go check out the rooms at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar and I'm gonna tell you all about it, come on. All right, hello from the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar, one of the best Hyatts I've ever stayed at. I am on a balcony in a standard room on the 18th floor at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. I got to check out several room types here. We got a suite, which was amazing for our stay. Tons of space to spread out. There was a full kitchen, there was a living room, there was two different bedrooms, and there was two and a half baths. Good service, laid back vibe. Front desk staff was friendly and you were constantly being greeted all around the property. And this property is absolutely amazing. It just seeing the building behind me gives you an idea. There's actually three properties in one. There's the SLS, there's the Rosewood, and there's the Grand Hyatt. Both the Rosewood and the Grand Hyatt have two towers each. So there's an east side and a west side. And then in the basement of the Grand Hyatt, there's a giant casino along with so many restaurant choices. And then that is even before you get to the swimming pools and the fountains and the water features and the mini golf course. I mean, there's just so much to do here, like an up close meet and greet with the flamingos. We got to go to a, an immersion tank with an animal sanctuary that had sea turtles and sharks and other creatures. Then we got to go to a touch tank and see really cool starfishes, got to hold them. Really fun experience. The Grand Hyatt Baja Mar has the kitchen where chefs can teach you how to make sushi. My two nieces, my nephew and my brother all got to do a sushi making class. Really recommend that, that was really fun for the kids. My favorite thing absolutely was the water park. There's Baja Bay Water Park, which has been open for a couple years now. Absolutely thrilling, the craziest water features I've ever seen. They're sort of like a combination between a roller coaster and a water ride. So there's multiple things you can do, including a chute that practically drops you straight down. The Devil's Backbone is one of the names of them, if, if that gives you any indication. But we had a cabana for one of the days at the water park, do the Lazy River, which actually they call an action river because there's waves generated in there. There's a giant wave pool that creates waves for the kids and then all the way up to adults. I went over and over and over again on some of these crazy water rides. There are some 1,800 rooms at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar, including 230 suites and residences. There's more than two dozen room types, and we got to see only a fraction of those, but we did see some really cool rooms. The room types include the one that we stayed in, which was a two bedroom ocean view residence. It had essentially a connecting room that was two queen beds with its own bathroom, a giant living room, a full kitchen. There was everything you could possibly want in there. Giant fridge, washing machine, microwave, coffee machines. There was a formal dining area, and then there was a living area, and then there was the master bedroom with a king size bed, its own giant bathroom with a soaking tub, and then views obviously of the resort and the ocean. So that was a spectacular room. Our second room was an ocean view room with two queen beds inside of it. It wasn't a ton of space, but it was enough for my brother and his three kids to sleep comfortably. I mean, we were a little spoiled because we had a suite before, but this room was really nice. All the features are new. This is fairly new construction at this hotel, so the rooms are kept in pristine condition. The vibe is sort of relaxed and beachy with light wood tones, white coverings, a lot of white in the room, very warm and inviting. We also saw the family suite, which is two queen beds with a fountain view. It's a residence and it also has a pull-out couch. So that might be a really good option for families. This room is huge, especially compared to what you'll get in a city hotel. These rooms are built extra large. Housekeeping responded almost immediately to all our requests. Service was great. This is a fabulous hotel. Overall, I really enjoyed my time at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. I enjoyed all our rooms, including the really nice suite, obviously, but then even the standard room that we got with two queen beds in it was fine for my brother and his three kids. So I would highly recommend staying at the Grand Hyatt. 
So the beach sanctuary is the experience that I did with my brother and the three kids. It was really fun, hands-on experience. It allows guests to immerse themselves in the beauty and wildlife of the Bahamian Islands. The sanctuary includes the marine sanctuary and the flamingo habitat. And we got to see both the marine sanctuary it's huge. and the flamingo habitat. Oh, they like yours, Dad. Hey, trust me. Hey, Dad. I got the good food. <laughs> we saw the Daily Flamingo Parade go from the Rosewood over to the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar, and the sanctuary is open till 5 p.m., so keep that in mind. <laughs> One of the fun things we did with the kids was the mini blue miniature golf. There's an 18 hole mini golf course. We were there a couple hours and had a really good time playing mini golf. Goodbye ball. <laughs> you can also rent a cabana at the Grand Hyatt. They don't come cheap, but they come stocked with water and a fruit plate and you get a mini fridge and a television and definitely worth checking out. My family and I got to do one at the Baja Bay water park, which was really fun, but it does come with an extra cost. I think ours at the Baja Bay costs $400 a day. The kitchen has baking and cooking classes. You get farm to table education sessions. There's special teen competitions, as well as cook and dine activities that will bring the whole family together. You look better than my one. <laughs> I'm trying to fix me one like that. <laughs> you do need to book ahead and it does sell out. So keep that in mind if you want to book an activity at the kitchen. Great. There's also the Explorers Kids Club, a little experience for children aged three to 14. You can even drop your kids off here and they'll be babysat while you're hitting the casino or even just spending some time alone in the ocean. However, there is a charge for that, so keep in mind. All right, let's talk about the casino. The Baja Mar Casino has 100,000 square feet of world-class gaming and entertainment space. It's the largest in the Caribbean. If you wanna get your gambling on, the slots are open 24 seven and the tables are open from 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. and it's worth taking a spin around and trying your luck. Just make sure you hit that lucky eight sculpture for some good old fashioned Chinese luck when you go to the tables. There is a ton of shopping at Bahamar. You'll see everything from Cartier to Breitling. There's something for everybody at these boutiques, but like everything else at the hotel, it's pretty expensive, so bring your credit card. There is an absolutely incredible array of dining experiences that you can have at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. Remember, you can also use the restaurants at SLS and also at Rosewood. So that even makes your restaurant budget go even further, though budget's probably the wrong word to use because everything is super expensive. Like for a family of five, five, $600 is pretty typical. So be prepared for that when you come here. But the restaurants are absolutely amazing. So the first one I wanna talk about is Marcus at Baja Hamar Fish and Chop House, and it's by the famous chef Marcus Samuelson. Apparently he comes to the Bahamas quite often to check on how it's doing. Service was excellent, the food was incredible, especially for me, the fried chicken, but you can have almost anything there. Really good soul food. Apparently some of the dishes were inspired by his restaurant in Harlem in New York. Try to get reservations because it does sell out, so keep that in mind. Another good spot was Cinco, the Asian Latino grill. Really good food here, celebrating the culture of South America. You'll find Peruvian dishes, but also a lot of Bahamian influences. It's also a fully kosher restaurant, so that's the Cinco Asian Latino grill, delicious. We also got to enjoy Cafe Madeline. As you can imagine, it's French food. They serve not only breakfast, they also serve dinner. Uh, you'll find croque monsieurs and avocado toast, fresh salads every kind of French pastry that you can imagine, including delicious croissants, really enjoyed those. The Regatta Buffet was one of the most spectacular buffets I've ever seen in all my life and all my travels around the world. Every kind of possible food you can possibly imagine is available at this place, except my niece pointed out waffles. So they have pancakes, but not waffles, but every kind of food station you can imagine. This is also where you'll be able to enjoy your world of Hyatt Globalist benefit. You get breakfast for two here, so that'll be taken off your bill. Definitely check this out for breakfast one of the days you're here. We tried Pizza Lab one of the days. That's more casual. It's also inexpensive, so I would recommend spending at least one of your dinners there. Our bill for casual lunch there was just over $100. That compares much more favorably than to eating dinners, which cost four to 600 at most restaurants we tried. Don't forget about Scoop's ice cream. It has tasty treats on the beach for you. My nieces and nephew demanded that I take them there one of the days we were here. Really good ice cream. There's also ice cream bars. You can also get iced coffee here. 
One of the places you don't want to miss is the Jazz Bar. This was the place to be in the evening time. They have live musicians and music and cocktails. You can also get small bites there. Cool place to gather at night time. As far as points and miles go, you can book this hotel with points. In fact, the rooms start at as little as 21,000 points a night. That's an exceptional value for World of Hyatt points. Keep in mind there is a $65 a day resort fee, so you definitely need to factor that into your stay. But cash rates can be had as low as $245 a night for the standard rooms, and then that goes up from there. But like I said, you can use World of Hyatt points. In fact, that's a great use of points in my opinion because you get a lot of amenities for those points. And remember, if you're globalist and you book with points, you're not paying that resort fee. So there's a little further angle for you, especially if you have top tier World of Hyatt status. I love this hotel. I love everything about it. What I don't like about it is the price tag. So there are some hacks to get around it. First of all, try booking with points. Obviously, I want you to use your points to book a place like this, but I will say I would hack my way around the food and beverage prices by stocking up on groceries. If you're bringing a whole family, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a, a room that has a full kitchen and then you're gonna buy groceries off property and then bring everything back here and cook. Otherwise, you're looking at a budget that could be a real buster for some families. But other than that, I don't have much negative to say about the property at all. In fact, after staying at the Rosewood and at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar, I would come back to the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar just because it's a little more relaxed, a little more chill, a little more fun. That's my constructive criticism of the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. Oh. Yes, I was saying I hit the wrong yes. All right, I hope you enjoyed our review of the beautiful Grand Hyatt Baja Mar. Up next, we're gonna go over to just down the property to the Rosewood Baja Mar. Stay with us.